Cool. What's up, everybody? This is Cheeky CP. Um, this is episode 19, the Meta Pop Contest. This is the Cremona Quartet Remix. I'm going to play my beat, and then um, I'm going to break it down for you. So here we go. All right, all right. So that is the beat. So this was uh, really challenging, uh, and I think we're probably me and P might be talking about the same stuff today. But um, the stems are amazing and beautiful, and I would love to uh, have access to getting this VST. Um, but what happened is they give you a stem and they give you the MIDI, and the person who played this out basically played it in all different types of tempos. So you have a track that is kind of ranging from like 72 BPM in the beginning, it fluctuates and goes all the way up to like 83 BPM. And at the very end, it like goes back down to 74 or something like that. But you can actually see the MIDI time is like all over the place. So I had a really hard time with that. I had to chop it up into three segments and there were like kind of three movements to the, 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 the track and just the stems. You had like this first part that was kind of like in a minor key and then they went to like a major key for the second part and then back to that same minor key in the beginning but i had to strip away all the midi time and uh just chop up each segment and try to just snap it to like a 75 bpm track so i kind of like took the average being 75 bpm and then built everything off of that <clears throat> so um, I just ditched the key, the keyboard, the piano, because the piano was going to conflict with my guitar. So I thought, let's make something that's like really, really groovy and just chill. And for some reason, every time I try to do that, I just like strip away a lot of the drums and I'm left with something that sounds like very like Cali. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's kind of how it sounds <laughs> to me. So um, what I did was I just wrote kind of just stuck to some of the same chords that were being used, um, but left some, some, some different guitar, like inversions of the same chord in there and came up with this kind of just cool little riff that you hear in the beginning. So this is like the core, core of the song. Right 
So that is the, the, the backbone of this track. And then I wrote another guitar line that just was just a riff kind of on those same chords. I wanted to sound, um, I don't know, just kind of like uh, laid back. So I, I kind of came up with this too. <laughs> So that was a cool riff. And I thought that those two things work together pretty well. And the idea was let's have this like groove going on and then have the violins just kind of sit on the left side of the speaker as if a band was playing with a, uh, a quartet. So the one element that I had to add in here that kind of made it sound a little bit extra groovy and calorific to me was the flutes. So I threw in some of the Mellotron here in um, in uh, Logic, which kind of sounds kind of dated, like a retro sounding um, uh, keyboard, I guess you could say, or synthesizer. Here we go. I'll play that for you in one second. And then of course the bass. So uh, I came up with a couple cool bass lines. And the first one is what you hear in the beginning, um, which I'll play for you. So that's the that's the loop. I mean, it's just looping around, um, and it sounds uh, pretty groovy. So um, that is the core of this track. And let me just do one thing. Okay, cool. Um, then the second part of the song goes into this major key. Sorry, the second part of the song goes into this major key. So this is where it was really hard because if you stuck everything to seventy five BPM there was a gap in between part one and part two. So I had to fill it. So I kind of just did like your typical um, swell, which is what you hear go into the second part. Uh, so you can hear it right here. So I wanted to bring it up a little bit and I used uh, a pretty cool technique where you take some distorted guitar and basically what you're doing there is you just add tremolo and you add the tremolo so um, kind of like it's a deeper swoop in the tremolo. So you're going from a loud dynamic to basically the floor. So it's going to sound like almost like a stutter is going on. So it's just a wah, 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 wah. And it's kind of like a 90s guitar technique that you hear in some 90s music. And I'll just like have you listen to that. Added some crash in there, so some crash going on. The one thing that's kind of way in the background that you don't hear, but it's giving you some additional rhythm is um, a tambourine. So those two things, the tremolo guitar with the waviness and the tambourine are gonna add like some swing and movement. So that whole second part kind of just comes up in dynamics just by those two elements alone. Um, and then the really, really cool thing that I need to show everybody and I'm pretty uh, psyched about <laughs> figuring this out is the fill that you hear at the end of that section. So check this out. Part two is another little break and then we go into part three. So check this out. So, you know, just as if you were to sample any kind of drum break and just put it in into that segment, you can hear the, uh, the little drum break that I copied and pasted here. So that comes straight from Logic's drummer. Drummer is basically a plugin built into Logic where you can have different drummers play on your track. 
and it kind of just is like all AI based and they have like 15 different drummers in different fields. So you can basically have almost like these AI generated drums play a full beat. And what I did was I had one play a full beat and then I went and snipped a little fill. And this is strictly straight from the AI, like the, the algorithm or however the hell they build that out. And it is nice. Like you could basically just build a whole track and just cut and paste little breaks like that. So I basically took that straight from a robot. So watch out drummers because this is nasty right here. And then that brought you into the last part of this whole track, which is again, just fading it out. Um, but I will say just to kind of flex real quick, this baseline that I built in the second half, I really like too. That's how I made the beat.